Hello everyone, welcome to Immense Imaginations. In today's video, we will write a Java program to print numbers from 1 to n. Let's get started. We will create a new class. Let's include the main method. Let's create a for loop. So you can create any loop. You can create a while loop or for loop for this. I am creating a for loop. Say int a is equal to 0. A less than or equal to 10. Say I want to print numbers from 1 to 10. So I am taking the range as 10. So let's print this. So let's print A. This is a simple for loop. So let's run this program. Okay, you can see that we can print numbers from 0 to 10. Okay, so we'll make A as 1 so that it will print us only from 1 to 10. Now again, let's run this program. Okay, so it is printing numbers from 1 to 10. So how is it working? So first we are initializing A to 1 and we are checking if A is less than 10 that is 1 is less than 10. So it is less. So it will enter into the for loop and print the current value of A variable. So currently A is 1 so it is printing 1. Now again A will be incremented so A will become 2 so it will loop again. So a will be 2, 2 is less than 10, again it will print 2, so the loop continues until 10, okay. Say if we want to print numbers up to 20, so we will change the range to 20, okay. Now let us run this program, okay, and it will print 1 to 20, okay. Likewise we can print up to any range, okay, instead of every time changing this range let's say we are taking the input from the user okay say n now let's take that input from the user so for that we'll make use of scanner class scanner class is equal to new scanner system dot n okay so this is the syntax for scanner class let's import this from java.util now let's use a print statement for user to enter the value Now, user will give the range. We have to capture that range into some variable. See, that will be our n. Int n is equal to the scanner object dot next int. Okay, so we are capturing the value whichever is given by the user and we are putting it to n. So that becomes our range. Okay. Now let us execute this program, as Java application. So it will ask us to enter the range. So say suppose we will give 5 as the range, okay. So it will print us from 1 to 5, okay. So let us run this program once again giving a different range, run as java application and let us give us a different range this time we will give 
100 okay so it will print us from 1 to 100 okay I hope you are clear if you have any questions you can comment down I will take a look at them thanks for watching this video I hope you liked it if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for future notifications thank you